Greetings Lyme Regis Baptist Church family and of course a warm welcome to anybody else who's joining us for this week's online content for the 13th of September. And we'll kick off with um, just thinking about some news and some of you may be wondering how the latest Covid restrictions with this magic six number affect us in any way as a local church. Well, I can let you know that they don't really change anything and the current regulations for places of worship continue to guide our planning. So we will be continuing to hold our Wednesday prayer meeting um, at the usual time every Wednesday, observing the relevant safety precautions. However, and in light of last week's email thinking about starting a new meeting, we are not now planning to begin any new meetings at this time. In terms of online content, um, this week we have the prayers presented by Rachel and um, please bear in mind as you listen to them that she hadn't yet received the um, information about Peggy. Um, the reading is from chapter one of John's Gospel presented by Neil and the teaching subject is a continued look at what authentic discipleship of Jesus is all about with particular reference to the place of the Bible in discipleship. We'll also be celebrating the Lord's Supper. So there's one video dedicated to that and you might want to press the balls button right now and find something suitable in terms of bread and wine so that you can follow along. Thank you again, Mark, for putting the music together and this week's selection reflects the teaching side of things. And they've been selected as they in some point or some way reflect the theme of Christ living in us in terms of the living word being internalized. Um, they include Across the Lands, You're the Word of the Father by Stuart Townsend. This is Our God by Hillsong. Alive in You, Kim Walker Smith and Living Word of God by Jeremy Camp. This week's testimony song um, is chosen by Colin and Shirley and they've chosen the hymn At the Cross, At the Cross, When I First Saw the Light. And Colin and Shirley say that the words of at the cross, at the cross, when I first saw the light, take them back to the when they first came to know the Lord. A decision that despite all the ups and downs of life, they don't regret at all. Grace unknown and love beyond degree. We've found a soothing a cappella version that really gives space to appreciate those words. And while I'm not aware of any birthdays and anniversary celebrations for this week, we do need um, to acknowledge the important fact that it's the sad passing on of two cherished people this week, dear Mel and Peggy. And while the knowledge of their presence with Jesus brings comfort, we join in sympathy and grief with those closest to them. So let's continue to remember Phil, Nicola, Lucy and the family, as well as Richard and Ray and Jane and Andrew, and indeed the whole family and all friends um, in prayer as preparations are made for the funeral services in the coming weeks. So before we engage with all that content and in the light of our recent loss, let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you present yourself to us as the father of all compassion who comforts us in all our needs. And Lord, we bring before you Phil and Richard and the family and friends, Lord. And as we ourselves look at this content and contemplate your goodness and your presence with us and what you have done for us in Jesus and his death and resurrection, we pray, Lord, that we would be nourished we pray that you would pour out your spirit upon us so that we would grow in our understanding of who we are and who you are that even as we contemplate the content including the communion Lord we we understand that sense that all saints past present and future are united together at all times in Jesus Christ in whose name we pray for your glory and honour. Amen. <laughs> 